Today I thought I'd quickly talk to you about oil's restrictor choice for your turbocharger. The question often asked is, do you need to run a restrictor in the oil feed for your turbocharger? Now it does depend on a number of factors, including the type of turbocharger you run, the model, the type of engine and oil feed method you're using, and the oil feed line diameter. In general, you'll find a turbo that runs ball bearings will require an oil restrictor. In such a case, Garrett suggests 40 to 45 PSI of pressure for the oil feed from your engine, and then through the turbocharger, which in general equates to a 0.04 inch or one millimeter restrictor. There are a few ways to achieve this, you can run an inline fitting like I'm running here on my turbocharger. If you're running, say, a banjo fitting, you can actually get banjo bolts with the restrictor built into it. However, keep in mind if you're running a journal bearing turbo like this older turbo I've got sitting here, they don't require a restrictor. They can run the pressure coming straight out of your engine or wherever it may be that you're uh, feeding your turbo. Now keep in mind, there are some more advanced solutions out there now. For example, TurboSmart now offer an oil pressure regulator system for your turbocharger oil feed. Really clever stuff, however, not exactly cheap. Also keep in mind, if you want to do it really properly, you should actually measure the pressure coming through your oil feed line into, into your turbo to get an idea on how much pressure actually is at the turbocharger then you can go and measure and fit up the correct oil restrictor for your needs. Some people may actually find they need a slightly smaller or larger restrictor. It will depend on your turbo, your engine, your oil feed line diameters, and so on. And while that covers off turbo oil feeds, keep in mind that you do want generally the biggest and fattest drain line that you can get. I'm running some AN10 or around half inch hose all the way down to my sump. Most turbos just run a gravity drain straight out of the turbo, whereas of course the pressure or feed side is generally AN3 or AN4 in size. Well, anyway, folks, I hope that gives you a bit of insight into turbocharger oil restrictor choices and helps you out with your decisions for your turbochargers. Of course, this is fairly general advice, and my experience is mostly only with Garrett turbos, so other turbocharger manufacturers may have different recommendations or different pressure requirements. Please check with your turbo manufacturer before you go and make any decisions. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.